Are you guys tired of running Google ads and having competitors click on your ads? Um, or maybe you're an agency owner running Google ads for clients and your clients are reaching out to you saying, hey, Jordan, why did I get charged $2,000 today on my dashboard when our daily budget is this and that, right? Why are we getting so many clicks? Why are we spending so much money today um, out of the ordinary, right? Sometimes I've, and I've had this issues before, especially working with, you know, in the niche that I'm in, it's a very competitive space where, you know, people are trying to get that advantage on Google ads. You know how important it is to be at the top of the page, but it just sucks, right? When you are at the top of the page and you're not getting the right traffic, right? You're a bunch of people are just clicking on your ads. You got people from different countries click on your ads that, that you aren't even targeting. You have your competitors, you know, trying to waste your money so that you'll run out of budget. So for those of you that have ran Google ads or running Google ads either for yourself or running Google ads for somebody else, you know, the, the struggle is real with this, right? And I've had this in the past where my clients, you know, I, I go and log into my client's dashboard and I see just like, wow, we spent a lot of money today and out of nowhere, we got a whole bunch of clicks, you know, out of the ordinary, right? So that right there, I was always like, how do I fix this? I called up Google and, and Google's like, you know, well, we do have this, um, you know, bot tracker thing that, you know, don't worry about it. It'll refund you, but not all the time. Google is going to catch everything, right? Google doesn't catch everything. Google's not going to uh, refund you everything. So in today's video, I want to share with you the click sees product, right? I've been using this for uh, a, a couple months now, I would say, and it's just been really phenomenal. Like it just kind of does its own thing. I don't really have to pay attention to it. And it saved me, you know, close to almost $7,000 over six $6,700 here I have saved in the past, you know, two to three months that I've, that I've been with them. And like I said, I'm in a very competitive space. So I need this, right? Every single dollar counts because the average cost per click in my industry is a lot. So every single dollar I'm trying to say that can be saved from my client is a dollar that could be, um, that could be used to get them another lead. Right. And the beauty of this is that you want the, the best results for all of your clients, right? Obviously, if you get results for your clients, your clients are going to stay on longer and that way they're going to pay you, but they're not going to stay on if they're complaining about, you know, people clicking on their ads, wasting their money, right? They're not going to have money to, 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 um, to pay you, right? So today I wanted to, to just give you an overview of how to use ClickSees, what it looks like, what it does, um, and, you know, my thoughts on it really. So, so my initial thought of using ClickSees was, ah, oh, dang it, I got to figure out how to use this thing, right? I got to mess around and, 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 and learn all about it, or maybe hire somebody to, to implement this for me to, to stop all the bot clicks, right? So what ClickSees is, is basically it's a bot tracker um, with other cool tools and features and things like that. But the main thing that they do for you is basically clean up your traffic. If people are clicking on your ad, they block their IP address so that they don't continuously waste your money. Um, and you can control everything on, you know, how, how, uh, how much, how, how serious, I guess, I don't know if that's the right word I want to use, but you know, how serious you want click sees to be protecting your IP address, right? Cause not everybody, um, they might click on accident or something like that. Right. So anyways, I thought that this product, you know, it's going to be hard to use. You got to log in, figure out a whole bunch of stuff about it, but it's th the cool thing about this. I really like is that it's super easy to use. And that's like the number one thing, right? It's just quick. You just log in and you are met with this dashboard here with you know all your accounts i'm obviously going to blur out the domains here um, for privacy purposes but as you can see like you know i've and i've recently added on more accounts um just because i see the you know the the benefits of having my clients on here um, and i'm going to continue to add some more of my clients on here just to save more money so for example here like i've been running this account the longest here as you can see um, as you can see, we got 504 clicks. We blocked 57 people. Now this, this client of mine is in a very, um, competitive city, right? They are spending number one, they're spending lots of money on ads. Um, so, you know, they are basically appearing 
their ad is showing up a lot more. So it gives people an opportunity to click on their ads more. So total 504 clicks tracked. And the cool thing about this as well is that everything is tracked in real time, right? So you can like hit the refresh button, reload right here. Um, and then you can track everything in real time. So that's really cool. You get updated information right away. Whereas Google, there's a little delay, right? You know, you, sometimes you don't even get the correct data until the next day, right? So you don't even know what, how many conversions or how many clicks you actually got until, you know, a few hours later from Google. So there is a little bit of latency on Google's end, but with this one is just real time tracking, which is really cool. And as you could see, 11% cleaner traffic. Now 11% might not um, sound a lot to you, but $5,000 saved is a lot of money guys. So $5,000, um, you know, I think our average cost per click is, like in the, I want to say 60 to $70 per click. So saving $5,000 is going to give me a, a, a solid amount of clicks, right? More, a lot more clicks um, and being able to convert those clicks into new uh, leads and customers for my client, guys. This is huge, right? And so here, uh, low 88.7% just means, you know, the low. So what it means is just like the threat level of the person clicking right there, you know, it's not that serious. Whereas, you know, 0.2% um, high, you know, these are people who are bots, you know, they're just randomly purposely clicking on ads to uh, waste money. And then, so they rank that as, as well, which is really cool. I mean, I like the layout. It's very simple, very, very simple. So that's what I like about this. As you can see, I've added a couple of uh, new clients here. Uh, this one tracked 81 uh, new clicks. I think I this I only added this like last month. So I really just had this one as a test as the beginning. And I just saw, you know, the benefits with it. So I started adding more accounts. But as you can already see, like we're saving a thousand bucks, 200 bucks there. Um, and then these are, you know, obviously I just added. So uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, accumulated or whatever it is, right? But if you are running Google ads and you are tired or if you don't even want to waste your money, right? Because the number one thing when people think of when running Google ads is, oh my goodness, it's so expensive, right? Yes, it is expensive if you're not setting it up right. Number one, you got to set up the Google campaign the right way. So you're targeting um, the right people. But even then, when you are targeting the right people, there is still a chance for people to just log in your competitors or just random people who, you know, maybe some kids want to be some jerks and just keep clicking on your ad and wasting your, your daily budget. Now you're out of budget for the day or even the month, right? And now your campaign is lost and you wasted a ton of money. So I just wanted to show you guys this dashboard here on how simple it looks really um, and how much money you can save um, when you are running Google ads. So it's super important to be able to protect yourself, your clients, when you're running Google ads to save all that money so they can put that budget to good use and have a successful and ultimately a profitable campaign. So they have a couple other things here. Um, I, like I said, I haven't jumped into all the tools really. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at it in this video as well. And I, I'll give you my thoughts on it. But before we do that, let's go ahead and I want to show you guys like how easy it is to add your account, right? So let's, for example, you create your ClickSees account, you log in, you're met with this easy dashboard. And let's say you want to add, you know, your clients or your, one of your um, Google ads account, right? You just click on add domain. And then from there, you're going to add uh, the domain of, you know, the traffic that you're sending to. So this might be your landing page. This might be your website, wherever you're sending the traffic from Google from is where you want to put here. So let's just, for example, let's just put in... I don't know, Mr. Cairo.com. I, I, I have no idea, guys. The first thing that came to my mind, all right? So add domain and domain, uh, Mr. Cairo was successfully added to your account. Boom. From here, click set up Cairo. And it's super simple. Just link with Google, right? You click this button, you log into your Google ads dashboard, and you just literally connect it. It's just one, two step. And that's pretty much it. After that, you install a um, tracking code. Now, don't worry, guys, you don't have to be a some type of, you know, code developer, because I'm definitely not one of those. Um, I'm, I like to keep it simple, very easy, but it gives you the instructions on exactly what you need to do. So it's all good in the neighborhood. All right. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard here just to check out. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, this isn't a real domain, so I'm probably gonna have to delete that now. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back home here. All right, guys. So. We, let's go ahead and check out some of the other cool tools that they have here, right? So fraud analytics. Um, 
All right, guys. So here is fraud analytics. Uh, basically, it shows you, you know, where what IP addresses are uh, clicking onto your ads. What what has been blocked? You can click block now, right? And update successful will be blocked within minutes. So these are some IP address that has clicked on your ad. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna let it do on its own. And it's, the cool thing here is it also does a recording. So I'm guessing this is the clicks from you know the last couple of days here, um, yesterday I would say and they do a cool little recording of what they do when it go, when they go onto your page. So that's super cool, right? They go on the page and looking at the landing page. So, so the cool thing about this guys is that every time someone clicks onto your ad, what this does is it, it will actually record what the user is doing on your landing page or website. And this is gonna tell you whether, you know, what, what the behavior, the user behavior is and you can use that to your advantage, right? You can start changing up your landing page or your website, knowing that you know the person might not scroll all the way to the bottom of the website. So you might wanna have your call to action a little bit higher, or you can start seeing where they begin to click out of your landing page. They might have seen something that they didn't like. Um, so you can use you know, these recordings to uh, make your website, your landing page better so that it converts at a higher level. Um, and I know that there are products out there that does just this right here, guys, and they charge you a good amount of money for it. And the cool thing about ClickSees is that they, um, they just include this for you. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, you know, they have clicks from the IP address. And then from there, I just hit on the play button. And then it shows you, you know, what, uh, what it looks like right there, what, what, what they're doing, what their activity is on the landing page. So that's pretty cool. It tells you the, how long they were on your page for about 19 seconds, uh, mouse movement scroll. So this was on mobile phones. So that's why there's no mouse movement and things like that. But that is super cool. That's really helpful when it comes to figuring out, you know, what part of your website's not working or landing page. Um, and then you can start making those changes, right? And implement to convert at a higher level. Now, uh, and then from here, you can see some of the stuff here, um, some, some cool analytics. Uh, let's jump into AdSpy here. So the cool thing about AdSpy here is you can spy on your competitors. So let's go ahead and type in a new keyword here. Let's go type in accident attorney and we want this in the United States, right? Because my client is an accident attorney. Uh, in which city, let's just put Phoenix, a very busy city there. Um, and then let's go ahead and add keyword and see what pops up, all right? So let's go here, we have this. So this is pretty cool, guys. So right here, you start seeing, you know, the percentage each competitor was recorded at each. So you can see all of the uh, positions, right? There's four positions on the Google ad. They tell you, you know, where these people are at, um, all your competitors. So this is cool. By day, average position of a competitor's ad each day. So this is all really cool stuff, really, you know, things that you can really look at if you want to start, you know, being really into it, what, what your competitors are doing, what their ads look like. You can definitely use this to your advantage, guys, is taking a look at this and seeing what other people, what people writing, uh, what people are writing their ads, right? Um, I'm not really too sure what 21% means, what these numbers mean on site. I'm guessing um, maybe the click-through rate. So how many people are actually clicking on their ads, right? So maybe 21% means out of every 100 people that saw this ad, 21 people, 21 people clicked on this ad to go to the landing page. So this is really cool. This is really cool. So you can start seeing what is working, what's not working. And you can see what other competitors are doing, right? You can see, uh, let's see what Jimmy Cook is up to, right? So boom, right here, top AZ car accident attorneys. So really cool. You can see all of their ads that are being written. And then you can go and look at, you know, what's working, what's not working, and then start to use that to your advantage, right? So I think this is really cool stuff. I mean, I haven't used this myself yet. I haven't jumped into like the whole, um, you know, this deep yet but this is definitely helpful guys um you know i'm definitely going to jump in here like excellent attorneys in phoenix this is really awesome guys so if you guys are looking to spy on your competitors re, you know better your landing page by recording the sessions blocking ip address that are bots click on your ads trying to waste your money this is something that you guys need to hop onto and take a look at it right so Refund claims, track conversions, see what else is here, right? Conversion tracking codes. Like I said, I haven't messed with any of this. So I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure it's not that difficult at all, right? This is your tracking code. It goes right after the opening body of your tag of your thank you page. So, okay, so wherever your thank you page is, go ahead and copy this to clipboard and then just add it 
to your, um, you know, wherever the codes go. So I don't, I don't know what it's called exactly, but that's where it goes. All right. So that's really cool that this actually um, tracks conversion because Google doesn't even track conversions that well, guys. Like the number I get from Google as far as conversions, because I do third party call tracking. So I'm actually able to see the real number amount the real number of leads that we actually bring. And sometimes I line that up with the Google dashboard, what it tells me. And it's just like a two different number that doesn't make any sense, right? Google might say that it didn't convert as well, right? It might just say I converted like 12% or something like that. But I go look at my call rail and it's like way much, I, we converted a lot higher than that. So um, this is another way to do a better job at tracking conversions, right? Because you don't want to be flying blind, uh, especially when you're running Google ads. So this is really cool stuff. Uh, refund claims. I'm not gonna mess with that because I have no idea. Um, and then in here, manage detection rules. So you, you know the settings of uh, the domains, right? So you can you can um, set the set the settings or to you know to 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 these things, I guess. Uh, detect IP based on device ID. So I'm not gonna go ahead and read through all the descriptions, but you can definitely look into this um, and you know all the all the uh, the features, I guess. That it offers right vpn blocking behavior analysis right it's being able to track i think that's so powerful it's being able to track when someone clicks on your ad and then seeing what their activity is on your landing page i think that's powerful um and then you can see all this right so i think what happens is what blocking javascript is pretty much is basically what it says right here right so en enabling this feature allows clicksees to block ip once a browser with a disabled JavaScript clicks your ad. So this is usually more oftentimes it's a bot. Um, and if they are a bot, we definitely want to, you know, this uh, block that IP address so that they don't continue to click on our ads. Okay. So this is all really cool, powerful stuff, guys. I definitely highly recommend it. Um, I've been using it for a couple months now, as you can see, um, you know, the numbers don't really lie here. So we saved a good amount of money. Um, and if you are trying to save some money uh, or not waste some money, I should say on your Google ads and you're trying to save money for your clients and things like that, uh, take a look at ClickSees. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll put an affiliate link below if you want to check it out. It is an affiliate link. So if you want to save some money, I think if you click on the link, you can save some money um, and, and be able to use a product. But if not, you can just go check it out on your own. It's all good to go. Um, so that is my thoughts, my review on this ClickSees product. I hope this is helpful for you to, you know, look in, possibly look into, you know, not wasting money on, on bots and things like that. Cause definitely we've done that in the past or we've had that happen to my clients in the past. And it was just a really annoying thing to, to, to have happen to you, right? You're just wasting money. No one wants to waste money. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Go check it out. The link's in the description if you want to go check that out. Um, and I'll continue with more social media marketing agency. I'll let you guys know. I'll update you guys on how my agency is going. I've uh, been pretty, really busy. That's why I haven't been pumping out two or three videos uh, a week like I normally do. But let me know your thoughts on what videos I should create next, what's going to help you grow your agency. And if you haven't already, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want to grow your own online business. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.